Well, I know you love freedom as much as I do, thank God, but when did everyone else become a bunch of constipated babies? There has been such an unchecked indoctrination for intellectual purity in this country that now anyone who leans outside the sanitary lane of safe feelings is deemed violent and in desperate need of re-education and forceful correction. A new campaign for free speech poll shows 60% of Americans are so worried about the polluting effects of expressive miasma, they think speech needs restriction. Not by the culture police, but by the actual police with guns and powers of arrest. 60% of millennials, those coddled and bubble-wrapped cream puffs, think the Constitution goes too far in allowing hate speech in modern America. That's a quote. And they want to rewrite the First Amendment. So basically, we have an army of LeBrons who want the fickle arm of government to constrain and punish thoughts and words which, with the wrong person at the power levers, could be disastrous. And don't fool yourself. This is happening on the right and the left. And don't give in when someone you usually agree with starts spouting unconstitutional claptrap. This has been trending in the wrong direction fairly recently as more and more people grow less curious and more afraid. And they're all too happy sponsoring a constitutional reign of terror. How ridiculous has it gotten? Well, there was recently an anti-ICE rally at Harvard, and the student newspaper, The Crimson, called ICE for a comment, as you do if you're following those pesky rules of journalism and not disseminating fake news. Wrong. People were furious, and they were so mad at the paper, they demanded boycotts and issued petitions claiming cultural insensitivity because The Crimson had the audacity to seek comment from the subject of the story. So what if the political winds blow your skirt up unfavorably and you end up on the wrong side of the rhetorical guillotine? Emotional restrictionists never ponder the consequences of their oppression. They just cannibalize themselves until, hopefully, there's nothing left of the irrational movement that disallows crude jokes or any individual thought. And that's the memo.